Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor, and here after nearly a year and a half with my very old series, Cool Secrets, Tips, and Tricks, with my fifth installment, and this one is about how to create a custom Twitter button for your iWeb website. And when I say Twitter button, I don't mean a button that you can just hyperlink to your Twitter page. I actually mean a button that you can create using the HTML code and then actually embed it into your website, create a custom link, and then when a person clicks on that button, they will then automatically be brought to their Twitter page and then already have a tweet predefined with that link. So anyway, this is pretty exciting and no one else actually made a video about this before, so I'm pretty happy to be one of the first. So anyway, let's get started. You're going to want to have the required code that is going to be necessary in order for you to create your new Twitter button. I already have it up on the screen, but you can copy it down below in the description under the video. Next of all, you're going to want to get a URL for a Twitter image or some kind of Twitter icon that you're going to want to get. I'm just using this as an example, but when you make yours, you're probably going to want to copy an image like this and put it into Dropbox which you can then get the URL from there. It'll be way safer than just using some random site that you find on Google Images. So, just a, a little disclaimer for that. Then next, you're going to want to put the Twitter image URL in here. Uh, you don't have to take out anything, you just have to take out that part and put the Twitter URL in there. So, it'll be pretty easy for you to do. All you have to do is paste it right in there, and it'll be pretty simple. And then, what you should do next is you should go into iWeb right here, just distract, just ignore that part right there. Now, let me put it off to the side. There we go. You don't see it. And right here, you want to bring out the HTML encoder, you want to paste it in, and from there, you should end up with this. Let me delete it here. You should end up with this when you paste it in right. And for the padding and all that, if you used a 100 pixel image like I did, then you're probably going to want to go with the ones I already gave to you guys. But if you're using a different size image, then you're probably going to want to experiment a little bit because I'm not entirely sure what they do to each other because I'm not a coder, but they do tend to work pretty good for a 100 pixel image at these predefined settings. So that's pretty much it. And the biggest thing is to change the shorten URL. So changing the shorten URL, which is what you put in right here, is a little bit tricky. Because what you want to do is you want to highlight all this and let's say I want to bring it to the website Dragon Rider Network. HTTP is already in there right here and these parts are actually just code for the colon forward slash forward slash that you would typically put in a URL. But right here, this is where you would put dragonridernetwork.com. And from there, and oops, had a typo. Jeez. There we go. And from there, what you would typically want to do is in order to get another forward slash in there, you would want to copy this and then paste it right on the end. And from there, you can write out like home or whatever you would want to after the forward slash. And it gets pretty simple from there. You really just have to try it out from there. But once you try it out a few times, you will definitely get the hang of it incredibly quickly. And from here, if you want to change the what the button says under it, instead of share me on Twitter, you could say tweet me or any of that. It's all up to you. That's what makes this so custom. And finally, when you're done with it, you can just publish your site. And from there, it should 
be giving me a notification. You can visit your site, and from there you just click your button, and you automatically have a new button that links the user right to where you need to tweet it. And something I actually thought was pretty cool myself, let me get out of here, is that you can actually add a border to the surrounding area of the share me button on Twitter. And from there, it actually makes it look pretty cool. You can give it a little bit of style. You can change the color. You can do whatever you want. It's all up to you. It's a very custom Twitter button that you can use just to tweet anything from your site or from a certain URL that you want. And it's all up to you. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you subscribe to the channel for more content hopefully like this. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedragonrider. Check out the website on Facebook, facebook.com slash dragonridernetwork. And, of course, the website will be up probably in either a couple of days, probably, at this point. And it's really exciting because, obviously, as you can see over there, I'm getting a lot of great stuff in for you guys and the newest upgrade of Dragon Rider Network. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, do all that stuff I told you right before. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. And I will catch you in the next video. Talk to you then.